हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू यूरोप एजुकेशन आई एम जितेंद्र त्यागी सो जैसा कि आप सभी जानते हैं अभी आने वाली है एयरपोर्ट अथॉरिटी की तरफ से बम पर वैकेंसीज फॉर द पोस्ट ऑफ जूनियर एग्जीक्यूटिव राइट सो एक नोटिफिकेशन टेंटेटिव दे हैव गिवन अस दैट दे आर गोइंग टू रिक्रूट जूनियर एग्जीक्यूटिव फाइनल डिटेल्स विल कम सोन ओके सो दोज हु वॉन्ट टू ज्वाइन एयरपोर्ट अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया टू मेक ए गुड कैरियर ओके सो दे ऑल हैव बिकम now activated we can say all students are now ready to prepare for the upcoming exam and uh, your pdi education has launched dedicated module also for the preparation of this exam so those interested uh, in preparing this seriously those can join the module uh, or ad admissions are open okay so now uh, you may be having uh, doubt in your mind that uh, what kind of question they are going to ask in exam what is the syllabus okay so in this video i am going to discuss about two important components of the syllabus of the exam of the question paper okay and those are uh, physics and mathematics part okay you know there are total 60 questions uh, in this exam uh, from physics and mathematics itself and 60 question is a big number which plays a very very important role main role in the selection of uh, students for this job okay so many students have confusion that what topic uh, of mathematics what topic of physics we have to prepare for this exam should we prepare engineering mathematics the subjects uh, the topics which we study in our uh, btech st standard or graduation or we should uh, study uh, 11 12th class subjects okay so all these doubts i am going to cover right now i am going to clear all your doubts okay so in this exam you know 30 questions from mathematics 30 questions from uh, physics right and uh, the level of the question is not very much tough okay if you prepare seriously uh, then easily you can solve all the 60 questions okay of mathematics and uh, this physics section okay so here i have collected the uh, topics which were asked in the previous paper of 2023 which was recently conducted so in mathematics there were 30 questions and uh, number of questions and topic is mentioned here you can see first of all from last uh, two or three times we have we are observing that uh, the syllabus is of 11th and 12th standard not of engineering standard okay earlier in 2018 or uh, before that they used to ask questions from engineering mathematics okay but now from last two or three years we can say they are only asking questions from 11th and 12th and they also mention it in the syllabus also that they are going to ask questions from 11th and 12th okay so to prepare for mathematics you have to focus on the topics which you have studied in your 11th standard 12th standard both are important in mathematics okay now we can see there is a chapter relation you know the relation chapter is there which which is in 11th and 12th both so from relation uh, always they ask one question that is mainly based on type of the relation what kind of relation is this identity relation reflexive relation transitive relation so we have we are given a relation we have to check the type of the relation generally this kind of question but any other concept may also be asked so you people have to prepare one question you can expect in upcoming exam also from the topic relation itself so you have to prepare this topic okay and in our classes we will teach this in our recorded lectures this topic is available in recorded form okay and then functions you know function is very very important and there are two questions from function these questions may be based on the domain of a function on the range of a function on the graphical knowledge of a function or maybe on the basis of kind of function like a given function will be there and they will ask whether it is injective function okay uh, many to one function bijective function type of function we have to decide and they can also ask question from composition composition of functions is also important and there may be some inverse function also is there so question may be from that also okay so function is important you have to prepare that we teach in our classes functions and we have uh, recorded lectures of functions in the recorded module then there is one chapter which comes in 12th standard that is inverse trigonometric functions okay 
so always one question is there in all question paper from last three to four years we can see inverse trigonometric function okay mainly that is uh, based on the principal values of inverse trigonometric functions so this is to be prepared because we cannot leave even one question okay you should try to get all 60 question correct right prepare in this way because there is a competition neck to neck fight will be there for one mark right so one question one uh, number is also very very important for you right so inverse trigonometric function is also to be prepared which is covered in the live classes as well as all these topics are covered in live classes and all these topics are available in recorded form also okay then we have vectors very very important chapter vector three questions were there and uh, average you can take three average of all the previously conducted papers we can say three to four questions are definitely there from this topic vectors okay then <coughs> in vectors generally <coughs> based on cross product dot product magnitude of a vector different relation okay now three dimensional geometry so this is the most important topic for this exam 3d geometry okay always there are four to five questions from this right so 3d geometry in 3d geometry you have to prepare line as well as plane both there are two things in 3d geometry one is straight line and one is plane so you have to prepare both the things okay then we have probability probability is also important sometime maybe more question but roughly two to three question are there last year in recent paper uh, there were two questions from probability topic simple question are there okay then there is one uh, topic called binary operation that comes in 12th standard okay so this is also one kind of function actually binary operation okay uh, so in this through the help of binary operation all the operations are understood okay so one question always they ask from binary operation and uh, you have to prepare this also right then uh, matrix and determinant okay matrix and determinant so three questions uh, were there uh, and average will be three right three questions you can expect expect from this chapter matrix and determinant those questions may be based on calculation of some determinant or solving system of equations okay or uh, based on uh, some basic operation on matrices addition subtraction inverse of a matrix okay adjoint all these properties they will not ask to eigen value eigen vector that in uh, that the part of engineering mathematics now they are not going to ask okay generally the syllabus which is up to 12th class only those things will be asked okay now limits you know limit is very very important and one question always come from the limit and easy easy question come there okay so you have to revise that also differentiation is really important three questions were there always they ask questions from differentiation you should remember all the formulas of differentiation you should know how to differentiate different functions composite functions okay so differentiation you have to prepare integration is also important integration may do know both indefinite as well as definite properties of definite everything is to be prepared easy easy question are there once you will read all these things you can remember you can solve the question okay then from coordinate geometry uh, there was one question so coordinate geometry is not so much important but you should know some basic concepts which we generally teach in our classes like area of a triangle section formula distance formula okay equation of a straight line these basic things you should remember but in coordinate uh, they generally don't ask uh, much coordinate nowadays however you should have basic knowledge of circle parabola ellipse at least basic structure you should know of all these conic sections right then maxima and minima so there were there was one question from this and uh, in maxima minima there, they may also ask question from uh, increasing decreasing function monotonicity rose theorem mean value theorem okay so in last paper these were not the topic were there but they can ask rose theorem mean value theorem is also important okay increasing decreasing behavior of a function is also important continuity and differentiability also once you should read what is the basic concept behind that okay then area of plane region obviously always they ask questions from area of plane region you should know how to compute area between straight line and parabola okay these are the two figures which we generally ask 
स्ट्रेट लाइन एंड पैराबोला ओके एंड देन वी हैव टिग्नोमेट्री सो इन टिग्नोमेट्री टिग्नोमेट्री इक्वेशन टिग्नोमेट्रिक आइडेंटिटीज ओके सो थ्री क्वेश्चन वर देयर फ्रॉम टिग्नोमेट्री अगेन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक टिग्नोमेट्री सो दीज आर द मेन टॉपिक्स अदर देन दीज टॉपिक्स दे कैन देर कैन बी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम बाइनोमियल वन क्वेश्चन मे बी देयर फ्रॉम बाइनोमियल नॉट श्योर ओके बट दीज आर मस्ट ओके एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स जनरली दे नेवर आस्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स स्टोर इज ऑल्सो देयर ए चैप्टर इन इलेवंथ क्लास दे नेवर आस्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दैट ओके एंड ए पी जी पी यस दे कैन आस्क यू क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम ए पी जी पी ऑल्सो ओके एंड परमोटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस पेपर देर वॉज नो क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम परमोटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन हाउ एवर इट इज ऑल्सो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर दिस ऑल्सो बिकॉज इन वन पेपर इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन मैक्सिमम क्वेश्चन फॉर देयर फ्रॉम द परमोटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन प्रोलिटी एंड थ्रीडी ओके नाउ सपोज सम स्टूडेंट आस्क मी दैट सर देर आर सो मेनी टॉपिक्स वी कैन नॉट प्रिपेयर ऑल दिस टॉपिक्स यू प्लीज टेल एस some where well, most important topics which at least we should prepare those topics okay so if someone is asking this question what i will suggest vectors 3d okay integration differentiation and probability permutation these topics you have to prepare compulsorily okay if you ask me the most important topics okay so this is about mathematics part okay now we will move to a uh, physics section okay because there are uh, 30 questions and these questions come mixed uh, okay one question math then physics then physics then math in this manner combinedly they ask questions okay now come to physics you know in uh, physics we study in 11th class in 12th class both we study physics okay but what we are observing from last some years they are not asking questions from 11th physics very few question 1 2 3 maximum okay majority of the questions in physics are coming from 12th standard okay so you have to focus more on this 12th standard physics okay so in 12th standard physics we have many chapters uh, if we see the previously conducted paper there were uh, four questions from current electricity okay then from electric field and potential three questions optics five questions were there from optics and uh, modern physics and nuclear physics is also important six questions were there from that semiconductor physics okay so three questions were there from semiconductor physics then magnetic field and magnetism two questions electromagnetic spectrum is also very important you know you should know about electromagnetic spectrum okay pointing vector right so there were three questions from this electromagnetic spectrum and then ele current ele this alternating current and electromagnetic induction there were four questions okay so these were the number of questions from different topics now in 12th class physics the most important thing to prepare for exam is ncert you know ncert plays a very very important role in your selection in physics because majority of the questions are entirely based on ncert concepts ncert questions so ncert textbook will definitely help you and your pedia takes ncert very seriously okay they provide uh, the important formulas the most important things in ncert during the classes and they help the students that how to utilize the hidden concept of ncert most important concept of ncert to prepare well for physics okay so these are the topics from physics which you have to prepare however uh, in your pedia they teach uh, 11th class physics also recorded lecture of 11th class physics are also available suppose they ask one or two question you can prepare but mostly question will be from 12th standard okay so those who are planning to start preparation they should keep this strategy in mind and prepare accordingly okay self study is a good thing but it takes more time so better to take some guidance okay if someone already expert in the domain help you obviously you save your time and you prepare more effectively okay all the best i wish that you all prepare well and you get selection in this exam